Welcome to ADFLighting.com. We are going to run through some tests today and prove to you the waterproof standard of our light bar as a chief IP67 or above. Our engineer just starting to plug the harness into the power supply and get ready to put our 6 inch changing color light bar into 5 feet long fish tank. He's testing the light bar and make sure it's fully working properly before it puts in. Our 6 inch light bar has got 4 functions. The white light, amber light, flashing white light and the flashing amber light. And can be controlled by the wireless remote control keypad. As you can see the actual voltage figure from the power supply machine is 12 volts. So we know the light bar is actually connecting to the power. Now we are ready to put in the light bar into the fish tank now. The fish tank is filled with the water and have got some live fishes in it. I hope he doesn't scare those fishes though. Now the light bar goes into the tank and is pointing you directly at a fish. I'm really sure he doesn't want to point the light at these fishes. But unfortunately this part is completely out of his control. And he starts turning the light bar on now. The first color comes on is the white light. As, in, as you can see how bright it is. After that is the flashing white light and amber light and the flashing amber light. So we're leaving the light bar into the in the fish tank for about 10-15 seconds, something like that. Continue testing it to see how, how it is working under under the water. No problem. Okay, the first test is done now, and we're ready to put in the light bar after tank, and we're going to leave it. We're leaving on the floor, and now it's unplug the harness, and we plug again and turn it on. As you can see, the light bar just coming out from a live fish tank, and it's fully working fine, no problem whatsoever. Okay, furthermore, the engineer is putting the light bar into a big basket, big, which also fill with the water. And he start turning the water tap on and let the water directly pulling down on the light bar. The light bar is still working fine under the water, as you can see. He's keep keeping changing the color of the light bar. Therefore, the waterproof standard of our light bar is definitely a chief IP67 or above. The actual voltage figure from the machine again is 12 volts. Um, there's another test we're going to do to prove to you our light bar can be working in any harsh environment. He's putting the light bar into a small blue basket. The blue basket also filled with the water too. Because the light bar is struggle for the space, so the engineer has to take the aerial off. Once he's done that, he's putting the light bar along with the basket into the fridge and turn the temperature of the fridge into the lowest. And he's checking the date of it. We are leaving the light bar in the, in the fridge for a couple of days. After two days, we are taking the light bar out from the fridge. As you can see, the water in the basket has already turned to ice. We are plugging again in the power supply. You see? <clears throat> okay, we get ready to turn it on now. Okay. The power supply is on now. <clears throat> okay, the light bar is still working fine, no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> 